Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made ByHeart a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, some it's like <laughs> somebody asking you, how do you do? Yeah, how do you do too? And then you have to say, how do you do? Mm, like, how do you do? Like, you, if you, you, you went say, say, I do fine. I'm fine. You know, that's actually the thing with, uh, you know, English language sometimes. Mm. It creates a bit of a problem mm. here and there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll manage. But, you know, um, uh, during the introduction, I indicated that I was going to check mm. whether we still have tickets available for the Joy FM family party in the park because I wanted to be sure that there were tickets available so that, uh, you know, for many of you who've been calling and saying that you need tickets, uh, look, there are some few tickets available. Mm, yeah. So if you don't get here, ASAP. And we still let us not forget that there's also this electronic, yes, or if you don't also electronic get the, one as well. Um, um, you know, if you don't get on to the short code, yeah. I beg, that's, don't come and say that we didn't warn you. And I'll be yeah. putting out the short code shortly so that you can actually go there and go and get your uh, tickets and yeah. just get your tickets yeah. Yeah. and show up because it's going to be fun. Uh, it's yeah. going to be real yeah. fun. I know. When that. I heard that some families have actually started their recce as far as yesterday, I was like, very interesting. Well, you yes, know. you have to start that recce. Because, you see, if you don't do it, you're going to be found wanting. So this yeah. is the short code. Let me just put out the short code. Mm. It's star 714 star. Mm. Zero zero three star three hash star seven one four star zero zero three star three hash. Mm. So please, uh, you can get your tickets uh, by using the short code. I will be checking from the team to find out if you know we're done with the sales mm. because I don't want many of you to go out there and need to realize that you can't get inside yeah. and yeah. starting at 10 p.m. Please get there early. Up, you know. yeah, get there early so. because um, also the daddy's corner yeah. uh, you know it's good. The, things the, are the, going to be happening. The, the, the beer village. <laughs> no, it's not beer village. <laughs> oh, okay. It's daddy's corner. Okay. Uh, there's going to be uh, you know, f- uh, pig, you know, uh, pork kebab. Yeah. Mm. Oh, pork kebab, yeah. Pork, no, since here kebab become. Uh, pork uh-huh. kebab, yeah. And it's a very special. Oh, what else? Be be a set of You know, the, I, I, I don't want to advertise, but there are certain uh, joints here in the city, in the capital, that they are so good at, you know, doing that pork kebab. Yeah, so you know? one of them, I'm not going to mention because I don't want to advertise. Yeah, we're, we're bringing where it is here. Uh, what else? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, as for the uh, pork, I decided to make it available. Mm-hmm. So it's my own pig mm-hmm. that I have given out. Okay. And the people yeah, who are... the season gi- of giving, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, this, this, you know, giving, but, you know, because of transportation and all of that, mm-hmm. when you can, you pay something small for mm-hmm. it. Uh-huh. And one of these, uh, you know, guys who's very good, mm-hmm. very, very good at, uh, you know, doing it, is going to be there. I just spoke to him this morning. He's told me that, look, uh, they've set off. Uh, mm-hmm. They're getting to uh, the Abri Botanical Gardens. Initially, we wanted to do just one pig. I mean, a very huge one, big one. Okay. That's over two years. I mean, no, that's, that's no, not two years. That's about uh, 180 kg. Wow. That's a huge one. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, you know, people indicated that, oh, we want another one, and I said, no problem. So I added another one to it. It's banners or tomato. Oh, you will not lack. Mm-hmm. Once you get to the daddy's corner, mm-hmm. oh, you are going to enjoy Everything is there. Everything. And the live band as well. Allah, know, so. Allah, Allah, and Allah. And the kids will have their uh, playground. Yeah, you know. the mummies will have their yeah, own oh, side. But you know, in between, things. you can cross yeah, because, yeah, you know, can. you want to come and... So, so, so the cross-fertilization uh-huh. and that, the cross... Is it a cross-cropping? I know, uh-huh. kind of mixed cropping, sorry. <laughs> mixed cropping. You pollination. Anyway, let's go for the Joy Business Report with George Raffi and the team. Good morning and welcome to the Boxing Day edition of the Joy Business Report. Coming up, Parliament passes five new tax bills expected to be implemented from next Monday. We have details on how it could affect you, businesses, and the economy. Fish Solutions project growth rate of 3.5% for Ghana in 2024, slightly lower 
than the 3.7 percent earlier forecasted and livestock dealers did be moon low sales during this festive season my name is george we are for let's now settle for the details Parliament has passed five new tax bills expected to be implemented from next Monday, January 1, 2024. But what are the details of these taxes and how can affect you as a business owner and even the larger economy? There is more in this report. They are the Value Added Tax Amendment Bill of 2023, Excise Duty Amendment, Stamp Duty Amendment Bill, Emission Levy and Exemptions Amendment Bill. First is the Tax Amendment Bill, which seeks to expand the tax net and extend the zero rate on locally manufactured products, introduce zero rate on locally manufactured sanitary towels, and waive the VAT on the import of electronic vehicles. However, this tax also seeks to introduce flat rate of 5% for rent of commercial properties and sale of immovable properties by an estate developer. It also seeks to place at least 21.9% tax on non-life insurance products. This will see motor insurance products go up by more than 30% from January 1, 2024. Another one is the excise duty bill, which will increase the excise duty on cider to align with the excise duty on beer and expand the coverage of excise duty on plastics to cover imported plastic packaging. The stamp duty bill has also reviewed the rates are expected to be paid on specific instrument. There is also an emissions levy bill which government claims it's seeking to promote use of eco-friendly technologies and green energy. It will also introduce an emission tax on carbon dioxide emissions by companies and from vehicles. Fifth is the exemption bill 2023, which is to provide a wave of custom duties and custom taxes in respect of the importation of fishing gear and agriculture input going through the various bills. It is clear that not all the tax bills might result in the current tax rate go up or introduce some new taxes. However, some also argued that the ones that are going up could have serious impact on the general price levels of goods and services and increase the cost of living. And that is a business tax report. Meanwhile, tax analyst Francis Timoboy has urged consumers not to expect prices of goods and services to remain the same from January 1, 2004. That's 2024. Speaking to Joy Business on this development, the Timoboy called for more broader collaboration between businesses and the Ghana Revenue Authority on these new tax measures. Clearly, prices cannot remain the same and consumers are those going to bear it. Normally, the GRA, if the law does not come with a transitional period, and that's where there's a, always a problem. Today, as we speak, you wouldn't find businesses going to, you know, uh, amend their system to start collecting. You remember that businesses are only agents who collect the taxes for governments. And so if they, they resume first general, they are supposed to amend their system. If you want to renew your car insurance, immediately it will take effect. What it means is that GRA will be expecting you to, uh, if you're a business, to come and pay the tax to them at the end of the month. And you must start from every sale that you make from 1st January. And that is tax analyst uh, Francis Timo Boy. Now, Ghana's economy will expand by 3.5% in 2024. From 2000, that is from 2.7% 2 in 2023. That's according to UK based Fist Solutions. There is more in this report. According to the UK based firm, it expects that the Ghanaian economy will enter a recovery phase in 2024, driven by stronger private consumption. Nonetheless, soaring consumer price inflation over 2022 and 2023 due to the sharp sell off of the city weakened purchasing power of households and weighed on domestic consumption. However, it expects that price growth will moderate from an average of 40.3% in 2023 to 17.8% in 2024, driven by statistical-based effects and more favorable exchange rate dynamics. 
Indeed, it said the government will make progress regarding the restructuring of Ghana's external debts under the G20 Common Framework in the coming quarters. It therefore anticipates that an agreement with the bilateral creditors will be reached in early 2024 and a deal with commercial creditors by May 2024. This will improve investor sentiment towards Ghanaian assets, improve capital inflows, and provide support to the CD. In the third quarter of this year, Ghana's economy slowed down to 2.0% year-on-year. And that is the business tax report. Now, Bank of Ghana Governor Dr. Ernest Addison has indicated that they are taking some extra measures to deal with any unexpected shocks and pressure on the Ghana city. It follows concerns that local currency's fortunes could worsen in the coming weeks as the IMF cash disbursement is pushed to next year. But Dr. Addison says that the reserve requirement increase and fresh forex measures will help stabilize the Ghana city in the coming weeks. In a sense, we've been able to bring more stability to the system and not just depended on IMF resource flows. So, yes, I mean, if the bilateral creditors reach agreement early before the end of this year or first quarter of next year, we will all be happy. But if they don't, we think we can manage. <laughs> That's all that I'm saying. And, and we are going to see the COCO loan come in before the end of the year and we will also get the second tranche of the IMF uh, disbursement before the end of the year. So we should be able to manage uh, at least over the next six months. And that's Bank of Ghana Governor Dr. Ernest Addison. Livestock dealers in Accra are complaining about business slowing within the festive season. They say the Christmas patronage of their business has been usually unexpected. The dealers who are worried about this at the low time sales of low blame the situation on the current economic hardship. James Shen has been interacting with them. We are here, so anytime more you come here, we meet us here. The whole month of this year, only two sheep that I sell. The year or the month? The whole month. The month of December? The month of December. Since December after the only two sheep that from where the people come and buy here. So it means that Christmas hasn't been too... Very bad Christmas. Very, very bad Christmas. It's a reasonable price, it says, but uh, people don't have money to go and buy. The very system that is very high because of they have no paying contractors. Many people have kissing their money, they don't pay them. When our customer, if you call somebody, yes, uh, today, with this year, they don't have money. I'm going to pay. I'm going to say, if I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay 1,000. I'm going to pay 1,000. I'm going to pay 1,000. And I'm born a thousand eight hundred. Also, my thousand. I'm for a thousand five. Now, I'm in your hand, the guano. I see that being scared thousand. Let's get more. And I'm telling you, I'm watching the carbon. And that is some ship sellers in the crowd complaining about sales during this festive season. British High Commission in Ghana has disclosed that there are many British companies seeking to import fresh processed fruits from Ghana. This, they say, will provide good opportunity for partnerships between British investors and players in the agricultural sector of Ghana. Speaking to Joy Business, the Deputy British High Commissioner to Ghana, Keith McLean, said Ghana could earn more from the export of fresh processed fruits from the UK. Well, I mean, I think well, the government has said that they are also looking at agriculture. You know, so we're hoping that, you know, that more investment will come into agri- agriculture. Ghana's got such an amazing kind of a climate for growing all kinds of things. And, uh, you know, they've got direct air flights to, you know, all parts of Africa, all parts of Europe. So if you're growing fresh fruit, for instance, uh, in somewhere like Ghana, uh, you can get it back to the UK, for instance, in, you know, overnight. You know, there is about £55 million worth of fresh fruit uh, sent back to the UK every year uh, from a company called Blue Skies alone. In, in Ghana, um, and you know there are so much, so many more opportunities for other companies to do the same. Deputy British High Commissioner to Ghana, Keith McMahon. General Manager of Yango Ghana, Tom Ofunime, has stated that the company will continue to support Ghana's economy and its drivers to deliver excellent services to the public. Describing 2023 as a challenging year for the industry, Ofunime said that the transport sector is poised to help government's growth agenda. He made the announcement that the company recognized some of its drivers at the maiden edition of the Yango Digital Mobility Awards held in Accra. 
2023 has been a challenging year, not just for our partners, but like globally and also in Ghana. We felt that this was the right time for us to do the maiden edition of awards where we can appreciate them for their tireless service in a not so convenient and very challenging year as we've had in uh, 2023. General Manager of Yango Ghana, Tom Ofonime. Let's talk about investment. So, investor, I be careful when an investment scheme promises you more than 10% return per week or a month. Such investment products could be a private scheme or maybe eventually lose your money. Let's listen to the Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Reverend Daniel Ogbamitete. You see, there's something fundamental with any business model. Um, in business school, we, we learned about something called a cash conversion cycle. That is how that entity makes money. Okay. So if somebody promises you that I'm going to give you 10% per week or 20% per month, and it's going to go for a long time, you need to ask yourself, what is it that that entity is doing to be able to generate